So I'm going to give you some things that I learned that I know will help you when you're faced with someone who says something to you and you oh, you about to lose it. You're going to flee. You're going to fight. You want to freeze or you just want to people please. Welcome to the Rise with Diana podcast, the podcast for working women leaders who are dedicated to doing the greatest work in a sound body, mind, and spirit. I'm Diana Patton, ex-corporate executive and civil rights attorney turned entrepreneur and business coach, helping working women leaders to gain the confidence to speak up and advocate for themselves and take uncomfortable action through daily disciplined practices to experience true life success without sacrificing their sanity. It wasn't that long ago that I was taking things way too personal, secretly having something to prove, and doing my best to fake it like I had it all together. I thought the appearance of success was the glue holding my life together. But it was that appearance of success and hustling to prove my worth that was ruining my life. In this podcast, my goal is to teach you the tried and true secrets of living your greatest authentic life. You with me? Let's get ready to rise. Hey, sis, how are you? Oh my gosh, I am so grateful that you've chosen to return back to the Rise with Diana podcast. Hey, did you tell some friends about this? I hope that you did because we are about to get into something very serious right now. And it's called, Girl, Speak Up with Passion. Okay, can can we give a round of applause? Because you know we need to speak up. And as you know, and you can tell, Your girl's got some passion, right? And I am unapologetic about the passion I have and that I'm going to give. I want you to be passionate. I'm not saying you have to be like me, you know, loud and using my hands, because you can tell I am using lots of hand action here. But what I'm telling you is that you have to speak up, right? And now you might say speaking up, meaning using my voice, Speak up actually has several meanings because sometimes you may not speak up with your words. And you're like, what are you talking about? I know, I know. That's why you got to be here. That's why you got to be here. So settle in, go on and get yourself a little cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, or hey, if it's in the evening, you have a glass of wine, red wine preferably. I am a wine snob, but we're not going to get into that. That's not this podcast. But I want to talk to you about speaking up with passion. Let me share a little story to kind of get us started. So, I don't know, here in the Midwest, we have these things called graduation parties, right? And my son had just graduated from high school. And every parent loves here in Ohio to have graduation parties. And, of course, we were no different. We were at a graduation party. And for those of you who may or may not know, I am an African-American woman. I identify as an African-American woman, and I have a white father and a black mom. But I also have a white husband, okay? So my kids are of mixed race as well. So we are at this graduation party, and I am the only person of color at this graduation party, And a friend of mine introduced me to her parents as her black friend. And I lost it. (laughs) Every ounce of passion and life in my body just went limp. I was standing there as if, I don't know if you guys have ever watched that movie, Um, let's see, where they talk about being in the sunken place. It's called Get Out. (laughs) You best believe I wanted to get out of that party. But I'm telling you, I was so just like, did she just introduce me as her black friend? And mind you now, I am the only black person at this party. And I was just like, what just happened? And I was so 
angry. Like, I took the food. I just got me some beans and, you know, like what you get at graduation parties, like beans, like like a summer party, you know, some potato salad in my salad. And I just threw that stuff away. I went over to my husband and I said, I'm ready to go. He said, hold on. And I said, no, I'm ready to go. And I knew in that moment it wasn't the right time for me to speak up because, you know, I was not in a good place, right? And I don't know about you when things happen to you and you get frustrated. I always say you got to know what the F is going on inside of you. And uh, these Fs are like, do you freeze? Are you a freezer? Are you a fawner? A fawn means a people pleaser. Are you a fighter? You know, you start speaking and start using your words or your fist. You know, are you a fleer? You know, run away. In that particular moment, for me, I wanted to get out, right? I was, I wanted to flee. And so I realized, but I needed to figure out how am I going to deal with this situation? Because I don't know if some of you know this, but I'm going to let you know, I do diversity, equity, inclusion. I work on leadership development. I work on helping people solve problems. And I like to get in the fire. So God would stand a reason that he would put this situation in front of me so that I could learn. So I'm going to give you some things that I learned to do that I know will help you when you're faced with someone who says something to you and you oh, you about to lose it, okay? You're going to flee. You're going to f- fight. You want to freeze or you just want to people please. Fine. So the first thing I want you to think about, you find yourself in this position, is to pause, right? If you haven't noticed, passion is an acronym that I'm going to give you. And the first P in passion is to pause. And you know what the research says? Pause 90 seconds. Pause. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. What does pausing do? Well, the research says it gets you back online. Some of some of you understand what I'm talking about because you didn't pause. You went right on social media and you started talking. You press send and then you, you regret that, right? I know some of you are like, yep, that was me, right? So we have to pause because it gives us time to get back to center. And after you pause... I want you to assess. That's the A in passion. Assess, right? Take some time to ask yourself some questions. Is what this person's saying to me true? Is is this something that I'm, is, is this what I'm feeling? Did this happen to me before? And am I recycling some hurt, right? And is this true? Is Is it something that, I need to examine a little bit more, right? Because you got to give yourself some time to think through the situation. That's the A in passion, assess. After you pause and you assess, you might think like me when I was at the graduation party. I needed some time. After I, after I left the graduation party, I had, some, I had to take some time. I needed to get some space, right? Emotional intelligence tells you that you might need to sleep on the situation, right? You know, say for instance, you're in a work meeting, you guys are getting in a heated conversation and you realize, hmm, hey, let, let's pause this meeting. You know, you might go out, get a drink of water, come back in and say, I need some time. Can, can we table this conversation to tomorrow? Wisdom, girl, that's called wisdom. What does space do? Space gives you some time to really do a little deeper assessment, but you're not like leaving the situation alone completely because the second S in passion is speak. You know in the back of your mind, you eventually got to go back and speak to this person. Why is it important for you to get the space and the time that you need, but then to speak? Because we're trying to get to a place where we can solve the issue. Now, you may not have all the answers. You may not have everything figured out. But what you do know is giving yourself time to pause, assess, and get some space is called wisdom. And then you can speak. 
You can speak with a calm mind. Now, here's the great thing. Passion, this this passion acronym does is the first four letters in passion is to pass, right? So wisdom says when I do these four things, pause, assess, get some space, and then speak, I pass on immediately blurting out my first response. Because usually your first response in a heated dialogue, when you don't know what the F is going on inside of you, you're going to regret, right? It's called that regret zone. When you pass, you pass on making assumptions. You pass on taking things personal. personal. You pass on canceling people permanently. How many of you guys know we were doing a lot of that, right? (laughs) Canceling, canceling, canceling. Past says, I need to take the high road on this and figure things out, right? So the first four letters in passion is pass. And when you pass, the I in passion says, after you speak, you're going to gain insight. Because when you talk and you have dialogue, you gain insight. Because you're willing to listen, right? After you listen, the O, you become more open. Y'all feeling me? right? Because you get more open when you, you're not so heated in the conversation. And then the end, y'all know I needed this word to make the acronym work. It's called knowledge. You're probably sitting there thinking you're driving, right? You're like, doesn't knowledge start with a K? But y'all know the knowledge. K is always silent. So give me a, give me a break. I needed it for the acronym. So knowledge. You gain knowledge on how to handle the relationship, the situation moving forward. You might even say, I need to read a book or I need to to learn some things, you know. So let me put a bow on this. You see, passion says that I am a passionate person. People that are with the Rise with Diana community, we're passionate people. We are passionate people. We could be, you know, a quiet, passionate person, an introverted, passionate person, an extrovert. However way you deliver your spice, sister, you are passionate, right? Because passionate people do their greatest work. So I need you to write these things down. P, pause, A, assess, S, space, S, speak, I, Insight, O, open, and N, knowledge. Sis, don't lose your passion. Be passionate about your work. Be passionate about your life. Be passionate with your family. Be passionate in your community. And be passionate with the people that you serve. You feel me? Okay, well... I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to know. What did you think about that? Hey, tell me which one you struggle with the most, right? Which letter do you struggle with the most? And then what is your plan of action? Share this podcast with someone that you love. Like, subscribe, stay with my community. Hey, did you take that Speak Up and Rise quiz yet? Take the Speak Up and Rise quiz. I would love to spend some time to know more about you, okay? Okay, girl. Speak up with passion. You got this. Until next time.